At this point in time, we have a special celebration that I want to invite Mr. Johnny Contreras, the director of Mariachi Aslan. Help me welcome Johnny Contreras, please. Thank you. I, I am like Mr. Membril. I don't have any jokes for you this, this, uh, this afternoon, this evening. Uh, but I'd like to uh, do a special uh, presentation now uh, honoring our nine seniors. We have nine seniors. Come on up, please. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Vega, in the audience there. Thank you, Mrs. Vega, thank you for coming out. Now's the time to take pictures, everybody. I'm gonna get out of the way a little bit here so you guys can get some good photographs here. Um, but as we know, uh, the majority of these seniors, let's see, so really quick, all you seniors that are up here, uh, let's see, who is a two-year senior? Somebody that's been in Mariachi Aslan for at least two years. All right, Mr. Gonzalo Arenas. How about a three-year senior? Who's a three-year senior? Ms. Julissa, okay, I'm sorry, I skipped over two and a half, that's fine, all right. JC, two and a half. All right, we also have Jesus, aquí también, he's a two-year two senior as well. Three years, I'm sorry, three, I'm not, I'm not taking, taking years off of you. Uh, Yahida, I forgot, you're a one-year senior, that's all right, Yahida, Otoni. All right, how about our four-year seniors then? So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna start with the ladies first because that's the way we always do this. Start with the ladies. How's it going, man? Misty. JC, thank you so much. Thank you for, for all that you guys have done, each and every one of you, but uh, of course, um, I'm gonna say just a quick little tidbit about each one of you guys. Um, so Haciana came to us uh, about two and a half years ago um, she was transferring schools from an amazing school, which is University High School, but they didn't have, they didn't happen to have a mariachi, so she said, I want to play mariachi, and so uh, she came to us, and uh, it was a godsend because um, she's been one of our co-leaders, uh, she's done so much for us, uh, she's obviously, you're going to see her in a little while, she's one of our, our amazing singers, as well as, I guess, everybody in this group has, has a voice as well, um, but we'd like to honor her, and if you guys can... Go ahead and honor her with her wonderful shadow box there, so everyone can see. She'll be attending Northern Arizona University next year to major in education. 
so she can come back and take my job. <laughs> Please come back and take my job. <laughs> All right, coming up here, Jalissa Dominguez. All right, so Jalissa as well uh, came to us a little bit later um, as well because she missed mariachi, right? And um, she as well, you'll obviously hear her wonderful vocals, um, her amazing skill on the violin. Uh, she's also multi-instrumentalist as well. She plays a little bit of guitar, and if you know, she uh, won the vocal competition here, The Voice, last year. So let's give her a big round of applause. And let's surprise her with a nice shadow box there. She was, uh, uh, she was very nervous, um, but she did very well, and she's continued to do well. She's a very talented young lady, and you, as well, you'll hear her voice. She plays great guitar as well, um, and she's grown up so much in just this year with us, okay? It started off with, uh, with her forgetting all kinds of stuff, and, and now she just forgets a little bit of stuff. <laughs> so she's getting there, she's getting there. All right, Mr. and Ms. Othon, we've got a wonderful shadow box for you as well. See, her love for guitar started at a really young age, as you can see in the middle there, with her little, her little guitar. All right, Jared Young. Okay, so interesting story, same thing with, with Mr. Jared Young. Uh, he came in as a, as a freshman. He came here as an eighth grader. Um, we just so happened to meet a guitar player, and he told me, I've only been playing guitar for like a month or two. And so, okay, so he, he came in, and, and I saw him play, and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but there was just something about this kid, and I said, okay, you know, there's just, I don't know, there's something about him, he, you know, he's, he's this little skater guy with some like longish hair, but um, I just, I don't know, I saw, I saw, I kind of almost saw this finished product right up here when, when he first walked in, so um, it's been four years, and same thing, he's our guitaron player, he's our bass, he's the, the puppet master, he's the one back there pulling all the strings, um, and, uh, and he's done such an amazing job at that, and, and as well, you're going to get a chance to hear him sing in a little while as well. Something that he hasn't done in his four years, and, and now he finally blossomed and opened up on that. And so now, uh, Lorraine, if you've got an awesome... Bueno, <laughs> Gonzalo <laughs> Arenas. <laughs> Gonzalo Arena. So, um, same thing really quick. Gonzalo uh, came to me uh, as a freshman uh, and he was playing guitar. Yeah, yeah. My sophomore, oh, yeah, you took my class as a sophomore, sorry. But you look like a freshman, that's what I mean. <laughs> so, the baby face. So, uh, he came in as a sophomore playing guitar and then I, all of a sudden I heard him play piano and I said, What the heck? This Mexican kid can play piano? <laughs> Mexicano tocando el piano tan bonito. So I said, you know what? Uh, there's this thing called the harp. If you just kind of turn it up on its side like that, it's kind of like playing a piano. You know, you got the basses and the, and the trebles. And so he said, yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. And, and see, like for about a year, he worked on it, worked on it. And uh, as well, we, we had an excellent teacher, Mr. Adrian Perez, who I know is here somewhere. Where's Mr. Adrian Perez? All the way from El Paso. Um, now to Sony, yes, so Adrian said the same thing, he goes, man, no sé, I don't know about this kid, no sé, no sé si, no sé si lo va a hacer, no sé, pero me dijo, no, no, es muy, es, tiene mucho talento, mucho talento y mucho más, dijo, um, and so, Gonzalo, aquí tenemos un regalito aquí de parte de tus padres, Miranda. So 
So, Rafael Minara. So, I first heard about Rafael Miranda through his sister. Gabby, where's Gabby? There's Gabby in the middle right there. So, Gabby was playing with us, and she said, You know what, my little brother, he's working really hard at, at the trumpet. And so I said, All right, well, we're going to need a trumpet pretty soon. So, um, so same thing. He came in, and, and uh, in the four years that he's been with us, he's just grown by leaps and bounds. Um, and so, I, as well as, as being a, an amazing trumpet player, um, who a lot of different organizations have recognized, um, Maria Chicago de Caliplan picked him to be in the Masters this year. Um, you know, they said, yeah, a number of people have, have just talked about how well he plays the trumpet. Um, and then as well, he, he sings as well too, so you'll hear him sing in a little while. And aquí tenemos un regalito de parte de, de los Mirandas. where Mr. Membrila was teaching, by the way, right? So Mr. Membrila not only gives us jokes, he gives us some, some good students as well. And, um, and so uh, he came in, tried out, and, and same thing, was a, was a very, very good trumpet player as well. Um, and another nice thing is that his voice has just blossomed. So same thing, you're going to get to hear his amazing voice in a little while. Um, something that we never thought would happen, because he hardly talked. <laughs> so, <laughs> he hardly talked, and so when he started singing, we said, oh my gosh, all right. So we got a little superstar here on our hands, and, and on, uh, on behalf of the Aguirres, they, they got you a nice, a nice shadow box as well. And here that comes and helps me out a lot, Mr. David Gill. Um, give him a big round of applause. He's not, he couldn't make it this evening. But... So, Mr. Gill came to me and he said, you know what, um, there are these young kids and I was teaching them and they have so much drive and they're so talented, um, but they're, they're kind of being overlooked, you know, and so I said, yeah, yeah, bring them, bring them to one of our, um, our, our summer uh, rehearsals and so uh, Daniel Motley was one of them, and uh, right away I could kind of see that obviously he had the talent. Um, and then as I learned about him as a, as a student and as a, as a young man, um, I noticed that he had the drive, which was amazing. Um, uh, this young man is, is going to be our valedictorian this year. And congratulations. He also um, went on the Ivy League uh, trip, which is, I don't know how in the heck he did it, because we were in San Francisco, and he literally got off the stage, dun, 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 and like was running and had to get to the airport to get on a plane from San Francisco to Boston uh, so he could go tour the Ivy League schools. And uh, we're glad to say that he will be attending Brown University next year. <laughs> He's going to be majoring in English over there. Yes. And Sylvia has a beautiful, beautiful box for him as well. And a 
flip on over here. Mi Jesús, ¿cómo estás? So Jesús was also one of those those young men, that, that young uh, young kids that came by um, because Mr. David Gill brought him to us and said, you know what, these guys are so talented. And uh, yes, Jesús as well has, has blossomed. Uh, an excellent violin player. You'll hear his, his talents in a little while. Um, as well as singing as well. He, 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 his voice came out of nowhere también. Or I shouldn't say out of nowhere because if you guys went to our fundraiser, you heard his dad sing as well. So, yeah. So, 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 so on behalf of the parents, regalito ahí. Thank you so much, guys. Um, thank you very much to all the seniors. Thank you very much to all the senior parents. Uh, to all the other parents that are in, in the house tonight that are helping us out. Um, I, we're going to miss you, obviously. But one thing you have to remember, please, each and every one of you, if you can all remember this. So I know they always tell you, once a warrior, always a warrior. We're good with that, right? Once a warrior, always a warrior. Okay, but, but Aslan is family, okay? And so... You are part of a huge family. As you can tell, when we went to San Francisco and we got to see Mr. Carranza, who started this family. He's like the godfather, right? He's, he's the one that, that started this whole thing. Uh, and I just happen to be one of those people that's on the road, you know, after him. Uh, and, and so it is an amazing family. Next year will be our 25th anniversary, Maria Cheslan's 25th anniversary. Okay? And so... So, so remember that you guys are always a part of the Aslan family. Um, you always will be, whether you like it or not. And, uh, and please come back, you know, come back. And, and the one main thing, I think you guys have seen this. Um, you guys have all had Aslan members come back and like give you consejos or give you, you know, good, good ideas or even help you on your instrument. So, you know, like I said, it just builds upon itself. So generations and generations of Aslan members. Okay, one more big round of applause for all of you. Would you sing the classics? Thank you so much. Y vamos a continuar con el folclórico, el grupo de folclórico, los guerreros aquí. Muchísimas gracias. 